Well, hello guys, how are you? Sharon here from iRestore Stuff. You're right here on my page today. And I've just been live and I'm a little bit late because I've been live over on Essential Stencils, stencil page, stenciling away. Let me show you what I made over there before as we kind of everyone joins and gets started. I'm just gonna refresh my page so I can watch comments on my laptop as I'm helping you here to learn all about, we're talking today about fusions, stain and finishing oils because um, I know that people have seen this behind me in some lives sometimes and they've got, when are you gonna stain or paint that bench? And so today's the day, people, today is the day. Um, so what I've been doing, I was live over on Essentials page doing some stenciling over there and guys, I just want to tell you about that here in case you didn't see that over there. I made this Happy Easter sign because they're Easter mini set. So they were all, all the stencils on this sign came up, came out of this six stencil pack. Actually, there's seven stencils in the pack. It's a bonus. But if you go check out the live or um, I might just put a link in the comments here about uh, the stencil set because until midnight tonight CST. So that's only like another, I think it's eight o'clock CST over in the States right now. If you're in Australia, you can still order these over there. It's 30% off using my code iRestoreStuff at their checkout. You can get any of their stencils for 10% off regularly using my code anytime. But tonight, just this set is actually 30% off because they're adding another 20% off. And then there's my code, which is 10. 10 plus 20, 30%, guys. So I'll show you what's in the set just before. If you're just joining me, we're talking about stain and finishing oil for Fusion. So I'm going to do that in just a second. Just was going to show you this deal that I got from Essential Stencil for you for until midnight CST time in the USA, which is in a few hours. Um, so there's a seven bonus set and that's 20% off. And it's essentialstencil.com. You'll find the Easter mini set and it'll be 30% off just until midnight. So that's a bonus deal. It's always 10% off, um, but they're putting an extra 20% for just that set. Um, it's always 10% off using my code, I should say. My code is iRestoreStuff. You can use that over there and get um, 10% off their stencils. Anyway, today we're looking at this bench that my father-in-law made, built. Um, now he's like, he's 80 this year, guys, and he loves woodwork. And I, he has just done an incredible job of building this whole entire thing. I don't know if you, you can't even see the bottom of it. Just push it back there for you and see if you can see the table's kind of in the way. Um, yeah, it's got legs, it's got these little feet on it and everything. So I wanted to have a look at staining and I've got a piece of off cut here. The wood is Tasmanian oak. It's a beautiful wood. So there's the gorgeous grain right there. This is just an off cut that he gave me so I could test some of the colors on it before I actually go and paint the whole thing. So there's my first tip for you. Always test your colors on a either an off cut or an inconspicuous part of the piece that you'll be doing. This is raw wood. So the SFO or stain and finishing oil is going over the raw wood. If you're in Australia, this is available on my website, irestorestuff.com. Any of the stain and finishing oils, they come in a range of different stain colors. I'll go over those in a minute. So one inconspicuous place, place you could test it out is literally underneath the chair, flip it upside down Test a few patches to see what you're happy with, the color that you're happy with, the tones and all of that kind of thing. Um, I'll bring that a little bit closer in a minute, but what, for right now, we'll just work on this little board here. I've actually tested some colors on the other side here and you probably can't tell the difference that I've tested here. Hi Fran, thanks so much for saying hello. Yeah, let me know where you're, where you're um, from guys. When you jump on, just let me know you're from the USA, you're from Australia. It's um, about midday here in Australia, so I'd say there's still some people up at night in the USA. Um, so this is just an off cut of the Tasmanian oak. Now that's the stain and finishing oil test as I've done right here. And now this color here, I tested with the cappuccino. Yeah, I like the natural color too, Patty. It's beautiful. And the color cappuccino um, is a dark chocolate color. So I've just done the cappuccino on this edge here. Then that next center section along, whoops, as my fingers are going the other way. This section here is done with a half strength mix of cappuccino and the natural color, which is the clear. So the natural color would give you just a natural clear protection. Also, whenever you are doing any kind of finish, 
even if it says it's natural, it's still going to change the tone of the wood because you're putting an oil over the top of it. Yeah, so um, then the last colour that I tested on this front section was golden pine. And golden pine will, <clears throat> so that's in this, this last little section here, golden pine will give you sort of that obvious golden pine colour. So this is Tasmanian oak if you've just joined me which is what the bench is made of behind me here. So that's that color. Then on the end, I just put the natural. So that's just the natural wood tones. And you will notice a little bit, because I could see as I was putting the natural on, it changes the tone of the wood just slightly. Gives it a little bit of a shine too, because it's an oil-based finish. Hi, friends from Washington State. Awesome. We were in Washington State last May. A little bit around this time, we were, no were we? We're in Seattle, yeah. Golden pine color, you like that, Patty? This is the golden pine, this is the cappuccino, and then this center part is a mixture of, hi Ellen, uh, this is just a mixture of um, the cappuccino mixed with natural, which is this color here. So I would like to stain my piece, and now when I've done the cappuccino sometimes on a pine colour, I do like the darkness that it shows up on this Tasmanian oak, but sometimes I've shown it on a pine colour and it actually is really, really dark, dark chocolate. And that's why I have often used the half strength. So it's kind of literally diluting the colour to create just not quite so dark cappuccino, which I like for that centre part there. But I'm thinking of actually using cappuccino for this piece right here. So. I'm just trying to refresh this so I can actually see your comments, guys, sorry. Seeing a few of them on my phone and someone said they've just watched my Essential Stencil Live and you watched my YouTube video, Painting and Stenciling a Bar Stool. Yes, that was a lot of fun. I'll be sharing that one on, on Facebook here soon too. So thanks for watching that, yeah. Uh, lots of tips and tricks that you can learn and a lot of these I post over on my YouTube channel. Um, that was Ellen, thank you Ellen for commenting. So today we're just talking about the Fusions Stain and Finishing Oils and I want to get started over here on my piece. Now there's a couple of different ways that you could use or techniques you can use. You can brush it on and I've got a brush here that I just use. I've marked it oil <laughs> so that I don't use it for paint because once you've used an oil brush for oil things, you don't want to use it for paint things again. And the, I've, it's nice and soft now because I've washed it out. What I washed it out with, you have to use for these ones the... Oh, now I'm going to always get my terminology wrong because in Australia I use mineral terps, mineral turpentine, which I think is white spirits over there. Let me see, I don't have my glasses on. Cleaning, use oil odorless thinner. Um, yep. Yeah. So the odorless thinner, I think, is the name of the stuff that you would use if you were in Canada, USA you would know what to use when you have oil-based paints. So use that to clean, to wash out your products, your brushes and all that kind of thing. So you could use a brush or you could use, and I've just cut up some lint-free t-shirt fabric cloths that are gonna not show, you know, use colors through them. These are color fast, so they'll be fine. All right, so what I want to do first is what I will show you. Let me see if I can move this around, point the camera down a little bit further so we can get a good close look at ah. I wonder if I can zoom sorry guys I can't zoom from here oh yeah I can look at that look at me go by myself here right so that'll show you a little bit closer on this ledge here so I just wanted to show you a few tips so here's just using a brush I am going to that's the half strength so what I did was I mixed up and I labelled it half strength cappuccino so that I wouldn't mix myself up. And I'm going to use the cappuccino right here. I can see my microphone right here. That's just so that you can hear me better. Um, now they do have a little lid with, that you'll need a little, what do you call that, can opener thing. You can see that I've made a little bit of a mess and they are, they can be quite messy. So I'm going to use the glove, the latex glove, at least on one hand, you could use it on both, it might be helpful. I've got 
got my lid off. Now for the first part, I want to show you using a brush. Now if you're using a brush, you're going to put a lot more on than you would if you were just using a cloth. But once I've put my cloth on, I'll show you the brush, the, once I've put my brush on, and I've just put a tiny bit on the top there, tips of my bristles, you can't see it because it's the similar colour. So we're going for this cappuccino, which is the one on this side, right across the top here. And it's sanded back, it's smooth, the finish is all ready and good to go. So using a brush, you're going to see it's going to look quite a bit darker. So I want to get my cloth on to wipe that off. Usually you would let it sit there just for a few minutes to let it soak in to the wood. Just making sure you can still see. And then I'm going to use my cloth or my rag to wipe away the excess. It is quite dark. So that's the brush. Now I'm going to use my lint-free cloth. I think I need a couple for this. I'm just going to wrap them up together. You can also use, we do have some applicators that you can use. Okay, lint-free t-shirt fabric cloth. And I'm going to start and just wipe away the excess off the top. See how it's, now that's more of the colour that I was thinking it was going to be. So when you brush it on, you always need to wipe it off. Now what it's doing is it's an oil-based stain. So it's a built-in stain and finishing oil. Now on the sides here, I can use what's left on that cloth and rub it on, but it's kind of not quite enough. So what I'll do is I'll show you that. Turn that around so you can see the side now. So with the side, I'm just going to use what I've got here that I've wiped off with the excess, add a little bit more. And I'll show you the cloth, the cloth or applicator method as well. So adding that on. And this one, you don't need to wipe off the excess as much. You're pushing the oil and stain into the grains of the timber. So, you know, depending on what, just give it a good go, give it a practice. Uh, see this side bit here? That's sort of end grain right here on this corner. I'm going to have to take the camera off the stand in just a second. So I'm going to try and just get that with the brush going up this way because it's got little grooves in the grains there that are hard to get with just a cloth. So you need to smoosh it in. And then what we're going to do is wipe away that excess there. It's got a lovely smooth oil finish and it will take a little while to dry. So make sure you obey the instructions on the can with drying time. And I'm using just the excess that's on there to get this end piece. And I'm just going to take the camera off the stand so you can have a look at the difference there. So I do like that cappuccino on the Tasmanian oak. I do like it. So when I, I was saying before, so let me just remove my glove so I can grab my phone and I'll bring this. Yes, my father-in-law built this. Can you believe it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Excuse me while we just move you around here. There's my big face. And I'm just gonna flip the camera around so that you can have a closer look here. There we go. So there's the cappuccino. Remember, this is Tasmanian oak. So when I've seen this on pine, the cappuccino tends to really be so much darker than it is on this lovely Tasmanian oak. There's the raw right here. And here it is with the cappuccino color stain and finishing oil. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's that. And then this is the sides where I've also added a little bit. Now, when um, there's end grain, which you'll find the end grain on this part here too. On the ends of wood, that's end grain right there. Um, it won't be like this nice, smooth, easy going on finish. Um, the end grain will always look a little bit darker. So there's nothing really you can do about that, although you could probably condition the wood just in that section. But I'm just going to go with it. I love this colour and I think that I will continue this, but um, I will show you some more and I'll show you some updates. Be looking out for my, be looking out for my posts on both here. Whoops, sorry, got my finger over the camera there. 
both here and on Instagram stories. So if you haven't joined me on Instagram yet, that's a fun place to hang out. Um, you hit the little round circle of my profile picture and see some behind the scenes stories. That's a lot of fun. So I'd love to see if you're not over on Instagram at the moment or you haven't followed me on Instagram, come and check us out there. Um, I'd love to see you. And I will catch you later with some more updates on this bench and the cappuccino color. So just remember, if you're in Australia, you can get that at irisstorestuff.com. You can get all the different ranges there of the whitewash look, the driftwood, the cappuccino, the natural look, all of the things. So you, I also sell fusion mineral paint, mess mustard seeds, milk paint, and all of the products to go with those. Sandy hand sanding gloves. What else can I think of? Klingon brushes, Stalmeister brushes. So thanks guys for watching this live today and I will catch you later on. Bye.